Hey everybody, I'm back with another unboxing, and today I'm starting a new series uh, called uh, Retro Unboxing. Basically, they're going to be new inbox uh, dolls or toys that have been off the shelf for multiple years. Uh, just to go ahead and do a little bit of education on where some of these dolls came from, you know? Um, the one that I have in front of me uh, was gifted to me by my sister, and I would like to thank her. Um, a lot of these new dolls, a lot of these new retro dolls are going to actually be from her personal collection uh, that I have inherited. Um, this one, sadly, now I don't know the backstory to this, but I it, it looks like chewing. I'm thinking it might be from her old bird, BB, possibly. <laughs> BB used to like to find things to chew. She was a little bit of a destructive uh, bird. I think she was an African ringneck, if I remember correctly. But anyhow, uh, I don't think she's ever really been out of her box, um, but her box is destroyed. So um, unboxing her is actually going to be safer for her. Um, her this. Oh, <laughs> let me just go ahead and actually explain who this is, now that, uh, now that I've explained what happened to her, that I think anyway happened to her. Um... This is, um, from the series, uh, let me just, I'm trying to remember what, uh, year it was. Um, I believe 2002, but if I'm wrong and someone else knows differently, uh, please comment below. But this is one of the, uh, princesses of the world, and this is the princess of the Nile. So, uh, Egyptian, I, I, I assume Egypt, Egypt, Nile. Uh, I don't know, but on the back here, I'm going to try to read this to you guys without making you seasick. Um, this is the Princess of the Nile Barbie doll. And then over here we have this story, and it says, Over 3,000 years ago, a proud civilization thrived along the Nile River and across the northeastern, northeastern Africa. On the hot red desert sands, ancient Egyptians built giant pyramids grand tombs for the kings, and a mysterious sphinx, the giant statue with a lion's body and the head of a, and the king's head. In a mighty palace, a beautiful, dark-haired princess begins her day. She is the daughter of the pharaoh, the king, who is the most important person in Egypt. People believe that he is a descendant of the gods and possesses their powers. It is also possible he holds all the secrets of heaven and earth. One day, his daughter may herself become pharaoh and ruler of the kingdom. The young woman readies herself for the day. Before a mirror of polished silver, she applies eye makeup called coal, made of green Malconite, a dark green mineral, and galena, a gray ore, mixed with oil. Coal, she believes, has magical powers. Carefully, she paints her lips and cheeks with rouge, rouge made from ground red oshore clay mixed with water. Henna. Dye made from dried leaves of a tree colors her fingernails yellow and orange. Finally, she applies perfumed oil made of flowers and scented wood. Her beauty regimen complete, she goes to her family garden. She sits behind a cooling pool, which is encircled by a fig and palm trees, and stocked with fish and fresh lotus blooms. The princess takes papyrus, papyrus, paper-like sheets made from stems of water grasses, and begins to write hieroglyph hieroglyphs, picture symbols. Princess of the Nile, Barbie doll, portrays the splendor of ancient Egypt. Her dress of golden pleats is worn with a white pleated overdress. She wears jewelry inspired by ancient designs and decorated with false turquoise, lapis, and 
Carnalurian. Her gold practical. Pro pectoral, pe pectoral, pectoral, a large necklace that is worn on the chest supports a large medallion designed as a scarab, Egyptian sacred beetle. On top of her hair, she wears a beautiful crown adorned with a serpent ornament, symbol of the royal power and protection. So yeah, that was a long, big long story there, but I, I I think that we deserve to share it now. On the back here, it also shows um, a couple other dolls from the world. Dolls of the world, the Princess Collection. Um, it's showing the Princess of Ireland, the Princess of China, and the Princess of the Nile, which is the one we have today. It also says that um, the Barbie doll princesses represent different cultures from around the history. And then it says, add... Your Dolls of the World collection, or start one now. Um, it says that it includes a stand. I don't know if the stand's in here or not. Uh, like I said, I inherited them secondhand, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to see what is inside this box, um, uh, along with her, obviously. And uh, I'm going to pull her out, and I will be right back. Okay, so behind it, it looks like there might be some sort of advertisement sheet. That's exciting. We have um, a Barbie Bazaar. Um, oh, it's some kind of magazine that you could subscribe to that was a Barbie magazine at the time. It's a bi-monthly publication for collectors. Let's see what else is shows in here. Oh, some retro stuff. Some retro Barbie stuff. Some articles. Barbie Bazaar. Part of my ignorance on Barbie Bazaar, it's probably something I should know about, but um, Barbies were more my sister. Um, what's this? It says Princess of the Nile Barbie doll collectibles. Um, it looks like you could register your edition by mail. Please complete the information below, return it, and we will send you a Barbie collectibles. We will send you a Barbie collectibles by mail catalog. Oh, so that must have been, they must have had a, collect, a catalog that showed all of them. And here is a certificate, an official certificate. Uh, this certifies that your Princess of the Nile Barbie doll was created by designers and artists at Martell and is a part of the Doll of the World Princess Collection. That's pretty cool. Alright, so, um, this is our girl. I She is like Barbie at perfection. I, I, I don't even know what to say. Yes, yes, she was a collectible, so I think she may have retailed at about $50. Uh, back in uh, 2002 um, check out her hair guys okay so each one of these this is a little these are little little tiny little braids um, in this black this jet black hair uh, comes to a center part but these are all little braids so uh, and look at the beautiful effect it has it, it's still soft to the touch there's no it doesn't feel like there's any hair gel in it or anything there might be a little bit to keep them but uh, it doesn't feel like it is um, she has that gold, that gold awesome crown with the serpent in the middle of it, and then um, all the, uh, it's supposed to be turquoise and whatever it was I had said earlier. Um, it's definitely, it, it's painted, but um, my goodness, it's so gorgeous. What a gorgeous crown. It's very princess-like, very royal. You're moving down, you have, um, her eyebrows are a very, very dark, dark brown, almost close to black. She has the Egyptian eyeliner on. You can see that signature look that kind of goes right over that top lid. Um, it's, she has some shimmery golden eyeshadow um, on top of a little bit of light blue eyeshadow that goes around the liner of her eye. She has like a very light bronzish eye color, and her skin's also that bronzish color. And she has a dark red lips. Uh, that are also have lip liner, if you can see. The nice plumpy lips. Uh, the face, she has a beautiful, beautiful face sculpt, I think. Uh, let's see. So this is one piece right here. It's, um, it's metal. It's a really, like a thick, a thick thin metal, I guess you want to say. And it's done in that bronze sparkly color. Um, with all the colors that match her headpiece. It's beautiful. In fact, I think... No, that's plastic. Okay, so that's plastic and that's metal. But uh, they did a good job matching them up, I think. Um, and then underneath, let's see if I can push this up a little bit. She has a gorgeous 
Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So this is, um, this is one piece. Yes. So she has a one piece, um, sheen, white, like almost like a shawl-ish, but it goes over the shoulder. Let's see if I, uh, let's see if I can remove her, um, her necklace safely to be able to show you guys what it looks like underneath. Okay, no, so the necklace is attached on by threads, so I'm not going to actually remove that, but I'm going to hold it up so I can show you guys. Um, it's off the shoulder piece that is part, and then it has, um, that is actually, um, sewn on right here to be off the shoulder, but, um, tank top-ish, so that's one piece. And then this dress underneath is also another piece. It's a shimmery, shimmery gold sequent dress. Very, very gorgeous. And um, I think this ribbon is attached to the dress and the... Yeah, so it's attached with some um, little thread down here, so I'm not going to rip that either. But uh, you guys can see how gorgeous that is without me even describing it. The glittery gold... Uh, uh, she's absolutely gorgeous. And then, of course, she has um, these armbands. They're not armbands. What's the word I'm looking for? Chalice armbands. Anyhow, those are done in, up in a, in a metallic gold as well with blue uh, paint detail on them. They're really, really, really pretty. And then her shoes. Um, her shoes down here are also um, a glittery metallic gold. Those will go on her as well. Um, yeah, so that's uh, basically all. Oh, I wanted to talk to you about the articulation. Not only... Um, she has um, limited articulation, but she's got enough. So her head goes back and forth and up and down uh, like a normal Barbie uh, of its time with the regular neck piece. Uh, she doesn't have elbow joints or wrist joints, but her arms go up and down and back and forth. So she does have that ball joint right here at the armpit. Um, I don't think her waist, her waist moves. No, her waist is stationary. But she does have... Um, her. I think she has the click knees. That they had back in the day. Because they are... She does have rubbery legs. So she has the uh, click knees. That click. And then she has um, her... Her legs go up and down. And then they uh, separate. So she has um, one of those... Um, type of ball joints on the... Uh, the Barbie ball joint. That makes her do the splits in both ways. Yeah, so um, that's basically all we have for you guys today. Uh, if you liked this video, uh, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. And um, stay tuned. We will be having more uh, retro unboxings um, soon after this one. <laughs> okay, bye guys.